Economic Freedom Fighters spokesperson Delisile Nguenia joins us on the line as we continue to get reaction to what has been an incredibly shocking story this morning, the death of Zinzi Mandela. Uh, thanks very much for your time this morning, uh, Delisile. And, you know, Zinzi Mandela, like her mother, uh, really supportive of the EFF and its leader in particular. Uh, you all must also be very shocked this morning. Good morning, Yes, it is a very sad morning for the people of EFF, it is very, very sad to wake up to this news. Zinzi was a very supportive member uh, of South Africa who supported the EFF unequivocally. He supported our, 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 our pillars, our non-negotiable pillars, especially the one of uh, land expropriation without compensation. She was, she was totally against uh, the, the GDG that is going on. She was a very strong woman, an activist since youth, very humble. So we have lost a leader, and it, it's very sad for us. Mm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So most people being quite in disbelief, uh, Delhi City, give us a sense of how you found out of this news. I'm sorry, I can't hear you clearly. Can you say that you repeat that? Yeah, we're just trying to ascertain how you got wind of uh, Zinzi's passing. How did you find out? Oh, um, I found out through the news as well, uh, through the newsroom as I was watching the news in the morning. Uh, that's when I, I, I realized that we had lost to Zinzi, which was very shocking for us. Mm. But yeah, I found out from the news and I'm still very shaken from hearing the news. Yeah, yeah, I can hear that in your voice, Delisile. Have you spoken to... Uh, your uh, leader, Julius Malema, this morning, as yet, uh, since the news of Zindi Mandela's passing? We have sent him a message, and we know that this, he is not going to take the news very well. So we, we will wait for him to just be able to, to deal with it, and then he will come back to us. And uh, yes, I'm sure he will be able to give his statement at, at a later stage. And uh, perhaps you can take us through your, I guess, initial memories of Zinzi Mandela, right? I mean, you already mentioned her involvement in the EFF, the uh, times through which she's been in agreement with the party on many policy issues. How are you remembering her this morning, given, of course, that uh, we all understand that this is quite a, a shock still to your system? Even? Um, I had known her from my youth days, you know. She was one of the women that I looked up to because she was very strong from the beginning and she was never a person who was afraid or scared to, to express uh, whatever she felt. And she was a person whom, I, she was a great mother. That's what I also uh, uh, respected from her as well. Even before uh, the, the, the inception of the EFF, she is one of the women who I believe I speak for most of uh, women in this country that we looked up to uh, because she was a kind of person that um, she, she, she was always pro-black, uh, uh, and especially women, and was in, very much interested uh, in the empowerment of women. So I looked up to her personally, you know, mm. and uh, I, I, I really respected her, and I, I hope that she will, she will continue being with us and, and take us through, and I was hoping that she will still be with us when we attain the economic freedom that we're fighting for. So, yes, no, that, that, that's how I feel right now. Well, our condolences to you as well. Delisile Nguenya is the spokesperson of the EFF. You can hear uh, the shock in her voice there. It is our breaking news story this morning. Zinzi Mandela has died. She would have been 60 years old this morning, and you will know that she is the daughter of late former President Nelson Mandela and struggle stalwart Winnie Madikizela Mandela.